Everybody, all pro exterior services here with another build. This is just hand put together, no, uh, no glue on it yet or anything. Anyway, just working out a proportioner because we got the AODD 17 gallon a minute. <clears throat> got the Asahi metering valves. This is one inch, so I don't know if you can see that. If you want to. Let me get over here. There you go. Screenshot that. That's the one inch from Indelco. <clears throat> and look at what we have here. This is a Rolair six and a half horsepower, uh, eight or ten gallon compressor with the Honda GX200. Yeah. So, yeah. So today. We're just going to be working on building this out. That's that's what I did. I just kind of put stuff together by hand. Because we got the proportioner. I'm going to take use one of the 12 volts that I need to take off the trailer uh, meter and valve for this. But <clears throat> got our three-way, you know, so we can rinse out our bleach line, whatever one we choose to use for bleach. And then uh, this is the regulator that comes with the, with the pump uh, from Lori Smith. And uh, just really, just figuring it, just laying it out and kind of messing around with it. You know, I'm, I'm going to go direct. One other thing I did learn is there is, give me an example. Let me see. Like, this is a high flow fitting. I don't know if you can see, see the, uh, the inside diameter versus a non-high flow fitting. Let's see if we got one of them in here. And these come with the kit. I so here's a better shot. You can kind of see the difference there. Anyway, a lot of people said the high flow, you just get better airflow. It just makes it, you know, some people get, gained a few feet distance wise. This is brand new. Just picked it up uh, yesterday. A buddy of mine owns a, I don't know, an, like a nail shop and, you know, he repairs nail guns and sells compressors and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, he bought it for me or he ordered it for me and I went and picked it up from him. So he said a really good compressor, serviceable, and he does the service on it. So yeah, so we got a bunch of little knickknack. That's a three eighths hose I'm going to use for the soap line, three quarter inch. Everything on a proportioner is one inch, one inch block. Uh, by the way, this is just a bone to pick with any manufacturer manufacturing manifolds i don't know if you can see this or not but it's got a gap right here because this is never thick enough and the valve is always thicker so it doesn't sit flush without a mounting plate just make that thing another quarter an inch and it'll sit flush just like that so anybody listening that manufactures manifold fix that come on man anyway we can figure that out so this is kind of what I'm thinking. Not sure if this is going to be the final product. I'm just kind of laying it out to see if I need. I got a little strap here I'm going to use to mount this thing. This regulator. And, and I want to kind of mount it a little bit down because this is a drain for the regulator. And this is, you know, where you take off your fittings. Uh, so I'm thinking about a little bit down and out like this. So I can still access this in case I need to use the compressor for other means, which I think I'm going to start using that compressor to transfer my bleach. And, uh, have, you know, if I, in case I need to drain it. I don't know. Still trying to figure it out. This is all new to me, but I've done a bunch, bunch, bunch of research. Shout out to Farm Kim. Farm Kim in Iowa ordered a, I don't know, a bunch of headings. As you can tell, a bunch of stuff here. I mean, two days from Iowa, dude. I, Two or three days, maybe, but top-notch service. I ordered a block from a company out of Houston. Not blaming the company, but they sent it mail, and it took over a week to get it from Houston, which is in, from New Orleans, you know, five hours. <laughs> Could have drove and picked it up before that, but not blaming the company. Just uh, I've got Flexzilla 3.8 air hose. They also recommend 3.8 air hose with, with the quarter-inch fittings. This was 15 bucks on sale on Amazon, so I bought two of them. Uh, what else do we got? This is just 3 8 soap hose. And uh, it's another air hose. 
Oh, three quarter suction hose. So everything's one inch, one inch block, one inch, one inch, one inch. One, and I did one inch, one inch valves. The valves are the same price, one inch or not. So uh, uh, everything's one inch. Here's where I made the change. One inch to three quarter barb. One inch, three quarter, everything's three quarter barbed. The reason I want it one inch is because I got an AR with one inch. In the event I need to make a move, I got some backups. So, and I chose Asahi valves over these, uh, I looked into the uh, precision valves. Uh, I mean, I can get those from China for 18 bucks a piece. You just got to wait a month and a half. But my philosophy is I know these valves and they work and they last. I'm not saying the precision valves are junk. I don't know them. And maybe they, you know, maybe they are good. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Just, that's just a personal preference. You do what you want. All right, guys. So I'm gonna, just going to play around here with this and try to get the layout. In fact, I'm gonna, it's raining today, so let me open this garage up for it. There's the bees. The only other thing I would like to do for the on the compressor would be to, because of where the compressor is going to be located, I'm not going to have the easiest access. They got a drain valve on each side of each tank. And I'm not going to have the easiest access to that. So is what I'm thinking is putting a hose on each one of those, a three, four foot hose somewhere accessible and, you know, open that valve, crank it up, let it run for a little bit, close the valves up, build up the pressure, the, uh, the air pressure, and then, you know, roll with it. But I got to take one of them out, bring it to the hallway store and try to find a hose. I mean, it's kind of a last minute deal, but, uh, I didn't know what size it was, so that's why I know what I'm doing. Hey, everybody. Just kind of give you a heads up where I'm at. Still laying it out a little bit, but uh went ahead and took this coupler off and put a bushing in here. This is half inch. Went from half inch to three eighths and uh, put the high flow set up here. I was not originally going to put a connector here, but after thinking about it was if I ever want to take this off the trailer, and this is hard plumbed in you know to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt to get it off in this scenario i can just you know unclick it off and roll with it yeah so it just clicks in there roll with it and i'm still trying to so i got to take off the 12 volt that's going bye bye in the trash where it belongs and then i'm gonna take this manifold off it's all wet here I'm gonna take this manifold off. I'm gonna use one of the Asahi valves and I'll just, I guess, save the rest for whatever and uh, get rid of the hose because we're going with three quarter. All that's gonna be three quarter inch hose. And here's the, let me get on the other side. And here's gonna be the spot for the compressor. Kind of took some stuff off the trail and we had a backpack blower here, whatever. So I got this area here. I'm thinking about putting a pump on the far end, kind of this way putting a compressor here so we can still access the drain valves because I want the crank side right here since we got more room without the reels. Uh, unfortunately, it's a poor start, so whatever. So I got to do that. Uh, so I think that's it. Change the soap plumbing to uh, half inch quarter to half inch three eighths because I got three eighths hose. Uh, yeah, get it up, get it up and running. And what I may do with this box if uh, we're going to get another trail at some point, but I'm thinking about adding some legs here, you know, come out about a foot and a half, well, no, about 15 inches, a little less than a box, put maybe three of them, lift the box off the, off the uh, trailer and set it up here. It'd be a higher deal, but it'd give us more floor space if we need it. I don't really plan on doing that. So, and I am going to, unfortunately right now use this reel. It's a half inch manifold, half inch hose. It is what it is until I get, you know, I was looking at reels. I was going to order one. I can't believe the price is it's almost worth it for me to drive somewhere locally. If, if I could find one, maybe to Florida or something. But, uh, yeah, so we just got to plumb in everything and it's all three quarter inch. And I got to run in a hallway store. I got to get a couple bolts here. I'm going to get some angle iron, try to make me a bracket here. Some aluminum angle iron, try to make a bracket here. I got this set up. I could clamp that down, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good. It's good. I got the pump and I was going to put the fittings in a pump 
you know, I got some elbows, I got some straights, half inch, three, because this is half inch here, and I was thinking, you know, I don't, I just don't know the layout until I get it on the trailer, and whether I need a 90 or do I need a straight, so I didn't want to put nothing in there, the only thing I did was install the muffler here in the back, so anyway, that's where I'm at, I guess I can go ahead and remove this 12 volt, 12 junk, I mean, 12 junk, 12 junk, <laughs> oh man, horrible, Buying electric is like, uh, you know, just like bleach and electric don't mix when you wash in a house. It doesn't mix. It just doesn't mix. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I just, I'm getting away from it, but anybody using it, I'm not knocking you. It's a money maker if you can get it right. So, uh, anyway, yeah, let me get started on that. Catch up. Peace. Okay, just an update on everything. I had to run to the store because piecing everything together, I didn't have everything, but I think. I think we're close. Uh, anyway, I got a piece of three quarter inch angle uh, aluminum. And is what I'm gonna attempt to do with this is make a bracket to hold this ball, uh, three way ball valve to the board. Couldn't find any in stock. So and, and this last minute thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to work that and finesse it to get it to work if it's gonna work. So we're gonna try that. I also uh, going to two tanks on the compressor, which is on the trailer now. But there's two drains, which are these drains. I took one of them out. So I'm going to take the drain out of one, and I'm going to install a T into the compressor. And from the other side of the compressor to the T, I'm going to tie both tanks into one for a drain line. So I bought a drain line here. This is a Harbor Freight Special, but it's a three-foot. That's all That's all you need. And uh, I put the ball valve on the end of here so it hangs off the trailer. So that's that. So let me get to working and uh, we'll get caught up. Peace. Girls, this is the uh, proportioner, just about done. I just gotta put the hose barbs in here, but I don't know what, how the hose barbs gonna lay out. So everything's glued, true glued. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Got the soap in the middle, bleach and water, water and bleach, however you wanna say it, or however you wanna do it, but anyway. That's about it, got that done. Just been working on that and everything else. Girls, this is where we at with the air setup. So we got the compressor in, got the pump mounted. Just put some lag bolts right in the deck with some lock washers <clears throat> or some washers. Uh, got the hose here, air hose coming in. Feeding our regulator, which is right here. It's at 80 PSI, 90 PSI right now. Uh, put a shut off valve here so we can shut it off take this off in the event we need to use it for something else I'm thinking we're gonna use that maybe for a transfer pump uh, mount it the three-way so it's mounted DIY brackets here I don't know if you can see that a little sketch but it works three-quarter angle iron just got to do some little hacks on uh, don't have no clamps one thing I forgot to order but we got this so we got you know we're gonna do our three way to rinse out the bleach valve so this is going to be the bleach valve so we want bleach turn it over sh h2o uh no remote no remote this is not a remote system this is just replacing my 12 volt and uh yeah it's all good man it's uh really really nice coming together slowly but surely and the only thing i got to do is put a hose here i don't have any other 90s uh, you know you think you order enough 90s but you don't so got the one inch by three quarter hose barb here thinking about coming off here somehow and tapping into the tank just to again all that's for to rinse out oh by the way put a check valve on here put your check valve uh what else oh again i, I had to use a uh poly hose barb from ace no clamp I do have some stainless coming, so I think it's going to be tomorrow. Once it comes, I'll go ahead and swap it out, clamp it. Uh, I need to go get some clamps from the home deficit. Just, uh, yeah, all high flow air fittings. I don't like the 90 here, but that's what came from Lori Smith, so that's what I used. Uh, all good. Got a little bit of hose left or the 30 foot of that, so we're golden. I hate to put another contraption on the rig, but you know, it's gonna work. It's gonna work great. And we ain't gonna have no 12 volt blues no more. I even thought about when I was building this is 
using a, uh, let me come over here, using a uh, ball valve here to shut it off and a three way to use this for that. But the challenge is when we wash the roofs, we rather use the AR, put the key in there for you. Uh oh, there you go. We we rather use this to rinse than this because the fuel consumption is about half. So I couldn't do that. Then I couldn't use this. So I was like, nah, you got to build a whole new system. Got filters on the drop sticks. Use the uh, Uniseals. Got filters again. Put a piece of pipe over the hose. Put a you know the filter that Laurie Smith. Said. Yeah, we got the drain. So we got the 90 on one side, T on the other. Those two are tied together, and it comes out that tank here. For a drain so all it does is drain that so we crank it with this open you know let it run get all that water out and once it gets water out close it up and go to go to work and then we also got a drain here so we still at uh, 90 psi we got a drain here you can rinse this out yeah I wish this was auto drain but it's not oh well we figure it out that's about it uh, We'll get some more footage. We'll get this thing cranked up once we get it all tightened up. I may try to run that line at night. I do have, I got to just true blue this one in. It's a straight, it's not a 90. I was hoping for a 90 to kind of come up right here and tap into the water, but fresh out of 90s. But anyway, whew, what a day. We'll catch up. All right, please like, sub, call, comment. Peace girls it's the next day here i just had to put some final touches on some things uh anyway that's what i got left for 30 foot so it was pretty accurate reading on that uh let's see put that over there let me show you what's going on so we got the proportioning system set up we got our, our uh, sh h2o so we ran a line in the tank to flush this out switch it over we suck bleach just kind of like the, the ar and then uh it's your bleach valve here water valve is always open soap valve everything secured uh, let's see you got the compressor hooked up oh that's good show you the pump situation here got it bolted down with some lag bolts got the hoses all high flow fittings yeah i'm excited to run a test on this to see what kind of distance we get so let me uh I gotta put the top on here because i just dropped this hose so i'm gonna put the top on there finalize that close it up we gotta go work and then uh maybe we'll get it uh well i don't know if i can get a distance shot from here well maybe on this side i can get a distance shot to see how it works so catch up peace got it cranked up i'm gonna go ahead and put this on this water there you go bubbling up good uh, so we got the water open and the SH on water, so we're running both water lines. Uh, we at right at 80 PSI. I got a little setup out here so I can hit it to the pump. So, it's priming up. Make sure we got, got the air compressor running. 80, perfect. Gonna have to prime it up. Works. Oh yeah. Yeah, it needs some priming. So let's see. Let me close this one. Get that. What is nice about this, this system is uh, we got to check the leak too. Nice about the clear manifold, you can see the bubbles, see the air. We're getting a lot of air in here, but this thing's never been primed. So let's open this one back. See. Love the compressor too. Auto idle. So maybe this crack right here is a good starting point. It 
Yeah, I can, I can still hear air in it. Yeah, you see it? So we're still sucking air a little bit. And this is a half inch manifold. Getting air. I have to get the air out. Half inch manifold. And you can stay off the gun as long as you need to, no problems. So let's get this wheel. We'll go ahead and zero it out. Okay, we had zero. So let's get an idea of what we're doing here. Again, I'm not trying to replace my AR, I'm just trying to replace a 12 volt. So go to the end here. 49, uh, let me show you. 49 and a half foot. Not bad for a, a nice system. A reliable system, hopefully. That's what I'm being told, so. All good. Let's try it again. Let's get any, any more air out. And this is just with the tip. I don't even know what tip this is, but supposedly you can use any tip. Oh yeah. Yeah, 50 foot, not too shabby. Getting that roof, look at that, over the roof. We're only at 80, and that's the recommended pressure. see it now still getting a little bit of air in there yeah and we may have to tighten some things up this is first go round you know I like it. yeah hitting good good I'm happy with that very happy to work out the system. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this. Pick up. We gotta go get a job done. Uh, yeah. So this is, this is how I'm gonna do it. I don't know what's the right way or wrong way. But I'm gonna shut this off here, so we don't have any more pressure here. Yeah, that's just whatever's in the line. So that's done. We'll come over here. There's no idle on this thing. No idle. So I, I built it up with pressure. Check my all my air lines. All that's good. So yeah, we can come back and put some little tightening on this. You know, tighten it up. But we got to roll. All right, guys. I'll catch up with you. Peace.